This video is a review of the second law of thermodynamics and entropy chapter of the chemical thermodynamics and kinetics playlist. So we start by looking at spontaneity. If we have a system like the following, where we have two gases separated by a partition, then we remove the partition. We know that those two gases are going to mix together with one another, and this process is irreversible. We can't put it backwards into the original state without putting energy back into the system. And the heat and the work and the change in internal energy are all zero for this process, so why is it that it's irreversible? And the answer is that it's an increase in disorder for the system. So our quantitative measure for disorder in a system is going to be entropy, S, and the change in entropy of our system during some process is going to be greater than or equal to the heat divided by the temperature. So during some expansion event in our system, if it occurs adiabatically, the entropy change is going to be zero. If it occurs isothermally, the entropy change is going to be nr log v final over v, uh, v initial, with an equal and opposite amount of entropy uh, being created for the surroundings. So the second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy change of the universe for any process is greater than or equal to zero. If it's a reversible process, it's equal to zero. If it's an irreversible process, it's greater than zero. So the entropy of the universe cannot decrease is one statement of the second law of thermodynamics. Analyzing the consequences of this, we show that it explains why heat flows from a hot to cold place, uh, explaining that in order to maximize the entropy inside of this system, we need heat to flow from hot to cold in order for that to be obeyed. We can define entropy in statistical mechanics by various kinds of methods. If all of our energy levels are equal, the entropy equals Boltzmann constant times natural log of the degeneracy of our system, W. If the probabilities aren't equal, it's the, we can use the Gibbs energy, the Gibbs entropy, negative Boltzmann constant times sum over all the states times their probability times natural log of their probability. And if we have the partition function in some algebraic form, it's equal to Boltzmann constant times natural log of partition function plus t times partial derivative of that natural log with respect to t. And lastly, as an example, we look at heat engines where we have a hot reservoir pumping heat to an engine which pumps out work to the surroundings and heat to a cold reservoir showing that the maximum efficiency of this engine from converting heat into work is one minus the ratio of the cold bath to the hot bath in our uh, system. So that's our second law chapter, links to each individual video in the on-screen annotations as well as in the description below.